Hey guys, SNC here back today with another video and we're going to be doing the top 5 bang for your buck shoes. Starting out at number 5, we have the Vans Old School. One of the reasons why we picked this is because it's a very versatile shoe. You can wear it with basically any outfit. The Vans Old School is also very easy to grab. Like you can go to any, any store and just pick it up whenever. Uh, it has a lot of clean colorways. There's it like it doesn't have to just be the old school. It could be like Vans eras, man, like any any anything really. Uh, the Vans old school is also very durable. Uh, I don't have a pair, but Carter has a pair, and a pair. Um, you can you can wear them yeah. like every day, and they'll still look better. I think they like personally. I think they look better beat up, as along with like a bunch of other people. Number four, we have the Nike Hirachi. The Nike Hirachi is a very comfortable shoe, as you can see the midsole is very thick and it is full of foam. Uh, you can wear anything with it, you can wear some jeans with it if you want to, you could go running in it if you really want to, there's a lot of things you can do with that shoe. Uh, there's also a lot of colorways, not just like the plain black or the plain white, you, if you want something like very colorful, they, they have that. It's also a really classic shoe. It's got a lot of history behind it. It was made in 1991, so yeah. At number three, we have the Adidas Stan Smith. The Adidas Stan Smith is just a very stylish shoe. Uh, you can wear it with anything. You can wear it with khakis, sweatpants, really anything. Um, for all you Boost heads out there, you can get the Boost model that they recently came out with. It's like a new spin on the 1979 model. Or it's just a boost midsole. It's much more comfortable, but today we're just going to be talking about the regular model because a lot of those pairs are going on sale now that the boost version came out. Uh, as Carter was saying, the shoe released in 1979, so this shoe is a very classic shoe and it has a lot of history. A downside to this shoe though is that there's not many colorways. It's just like the white with like the orange on the back or the red on the back. And, or just like the all black colorway, but like there's not much after that. So at number two, we have the Nike Presto. The Presto is a very breathable shoe and the upper consists of mesh. It has really good cushioning in the midsole. There's a lot of foam, but not as much as the Hirachi like we said before, it was a previous shoe, but it's still really, really comfortable. You can dress up or down with it. You can wear, you could rock a pair of jeans with it if you really want to. You can do a lot with it. The downside is to the shoe is that it's a little bit tight, so you might need to go half a size up depending on your foot shape. Coming in at number one, we have the Adidas Alpha Bounce. The Adidas Alpha Bounce is just a very clean shoe. It has a very nice design. It's very sleek. It's just clean. Some may even say that the cushioning is comparable to Boost because some people like a more firm midsole. So it provides more stability for their foot. Alpha Bounce is also very versatile. You can wear it with anything. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with khakis, sweatpants, anything. You name it. Another upside for the Alpha Bounce is that there's a lot of colorways and there's a lot more new ones that are going to release soon because it is a recent shoe. It, I think it came out in like 2013 maybe? No? I don't know. I think it was We'll have to fact check that one. <laughs> All right, and finally, the Alpha Bounce is just an easy shoe to grab. You can just walk into the store and grab it. It's not a very hyped shoe like the Ultra Boost or the NMD, so it, it's easy to grab. And these shoes are most likely to go on sales, or you'll find them on at the outlets. That concludes the Bang for Your Buck buys. Hope you enjoyed.